U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations Nikki Haley said President Donald Trump told her Saturday the U.S. remains locked and loaded if Syrian leader Bashar al-Assad uses chemical weapons to attack his own people again. Last night, we obliterated the major research facility that it used to assemble weapons of mass murder, Haley said at U.N. Security Council meeting called by Russia, which has condemned the Friday night strike on Syria's chemical weapon capabilities by the U.S., France and Britain. I spoke to the president this morning and he said if the Syrian regime uses this poisonous gas again, the United States is locked and loaded. Story continued below, when our president draws a red line, our president enforces the red line, Haley added. Addressing reports that Russia has stepped up efforts to spread misinformation after the strike, Haley stated that pictures of dead children were not fake news, and said there is evidence the Syrian regime was behind the most recent attack. Haley said that past Russian actions through the Security Council had thwarted attempts to rein in the Assad's regime's use of chemical weapons, giving the green light to the Syrian leader. Chemical weapons are a threat to us all, Haley said. They are unique threat, a type of weapon so evil that the international community agreed they must be banned. We cannot stand by and let Russia trash every international norm that we stand for, Pentagon officials said Saturday that the strike dealt a crippling blow to Syria's future capabilities for using chemical weapons. Joint Staff Lt. Gen. Kenneth McKenzie told reporters the U.S.-led Operation Wood set the Syrian chemical weapons program back by years. Trump congratulated U.S. and allied forces for the perfectly executed strike, adding that it was mission accomplished.